RV Travel Buddy presents Robin Shuri. Let's do a black tank enema. Hey, this is Rob from RV Travel Buddy. Today and tomorrow, uh, we actually have something we need to fix in our RV. And it has to do with the black tank. <laughs> yeah, fun stuff. So, what I'm going to show you is our black tank valve is not closing all the way. So we're going to do two things. We're working with another person who has an RV repair business. And he actually is the same person who did uh, uh, the repair on my siding. But let me, uh, uh, well, anyway, he's going to come in and we're going to run a snake kind of thing into our tanks and really clean the black tank out. And that will also give us the opportunity to see if we have a particle or something blocking the slide from going all uh, not the slide the valve uh, from going all the way in so it won't go in by about an inch he also suggested sometimes there's a gasket in there that breaks and kind of interferes with closing the valve so after we do that cleaning and I'm going to show that uh, we're going to uh, see if that valve opens up and works if it doesn't then I'm going to have them repair that and so I didn't want to do it because we got to tear out the lower section of the RV to get to the valve and then replace that valve. So that's our project and let me show you what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is down here I have two valves. This one's for our gray tank for uh, our showers and stuff and this is our black tank. If you look really closely we cannot close it all the way and we also have a little bit of leaking coming out of the uh, sewage pipe there so we definitely are not sealing uh, when we're closing this so uh, we're going to start off by uh, this is a three-year-old RV and things can get caked in there and and hard anyway we're going to actually send a, a a snake type of thing up into the tubes high pressure and really clean the tanks out so before we do that I'm going to spend the time and I'm not going to uh, make you go through this suffering all that we're gonna flush the tanks over and over and over again today just to get as much stuff out of there as possible before we do that process and uh, that's for a courtesy to him and to make sure that when we put the snake thing in there I am paying a fee to have this done um, that we get the most out of the process so anyway uh, I hope uh, this is helpful to you it would be quite interesting to see if we succeed in fixing that valve without actually replacing that valve by the way before I go any farther I did want to talk about this black hose you see on the ground that's one of those Walmart uh, shrinking uh, hoses <laughs> and I've heard a lot of people say they just hate them they break and leak all the time I gotta tell you to me for 14 to 19 dollars and they're 50 foot hoses they're awesome <laughs> they, they're easy to store they're easy to put away and if it breaks over time it's not that much money uh, yes you should never waste money but I really like them so either I really lucked out I have not had trouble with mine um, but it works great for an RV because they're so easy to put away so if you can buy one of those shrink hoses at Walmart uh, get the best ones you can with the brass fittings, but it's worked well for me and Probably the next time I will probably blow it out or something, but um, I just go get another one So anyway, uh, I also use it on our boat great Great hose uh, doesn't take up much space. So anyway on with right now. I'm running water into the tanks I'm gonna flush them over and over and over again, and uh, I'll do that process maybe seven or eight times So it's gonna be an all-day event. So that's what we're up to Yeah, can you fit any more in there? I don't think so, no. Holy moly, that's a serious <laughs> toy you got there. Okay, so this is the next day, and we, uh, since I did this video, and Todd from Diversified RV Care, RV Care yeah. LLC, um, actually lives here too, 
and he's gonna give my <laughs> RV an enema. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what what kind of equipment are we using here? Uh, it's a uh, 3600 psi, five and a half gallon a minute pressure washer. It's just cold water. We don't need hot water for yeah, this. Yeah. But it is uh, very high pressure at uh, lower volume than what you have in a garden hose. But it d definitely does the trick. So, so uh, with black tanks, why are we why do we do this? Why are we doing a pressurized clean? Well, we recommend at least once a year you clean your tank. Um, what happens is you get sediment in your tank. Um, a sediment called struvite that comes from human waste. Um, almost looks like rust flakes down in the bottom of the tank. Um, also a lot of people tend to use um, toilet paper that's not recommended for RVs that will build up that. on the sides which we've seen a lot of. Yeah. Um, some strange things go down RV toilets and yeah. toilets in general. Yeah. So we uh, we do recommend once a year to get that, that uh, build up out of there. Um, usually, 90% of the time, we can restore the sensors as well because the sensors get a lot of yeah. build up on. And, and our sensors are not uh, working properly, so we're really hoping that will help. And uh, we also, I talked earlier that I have a valve that's not closing all the way, so we're hoping that it's something in the way. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully it's a piece of debris that's blocking the valve from closing. Yeah. So anyway, we'll show you what we're doing, and uh, we'll be switching from cam uh, two cameras, and we'll see. Uh, how this process works. So, so what we're going to do, can you show me your invention here? Yeah, this is an adapter I made. It's just a standard adapter. This is a, which you can buy anywhere. Yeah, it's like one of those and back has, flush. Yeah, and it has a back flush system on it, similar to what he has in here, but I had to modify it to uh, have the nozzle be able to fit through here. And I've also, uh, the reason it has this glove on is because I've actually slotted this to uh, be able to bring, come in and bring it in from this angle as well if okay. I have to. Gotcha. Depending on, I've had a really nasty situation where the nozzle wouldn't quite make the bend so I had to come in from this angle so that's not very pretty but it's effective. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer guys. Okay, so I had some valves in here too so we kind of just left mine in and put his in there so what we did is this is my back flush here. We just left it and I have these two valves so we thought it'd be kind of nice to be able to control the water flow in case it gets out of hand. <laughs> so his device is right here and we'll be putting the hose into this section right here and that's what the hose looks like, right? Yeah, this is the nozzle here. It's, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, it's high pressure. This swivels and it sprays backwards. It has four small nozzles that spray backwards so it propels itself into the pipe. Uh, these, this hose is very flexible so it can make the bends and make yeah. the turns. Um, with this much pressure, um, it's better to have a nozzle that sprays back instead of forward. Um, I do have one that sprays forward for the really bad ones that yeah. I've seen. But this one sprays back and it'll go to the corner of each one of the tanks, uh, the black tank corner, and it'll, it'll get, break it free from the corner. Nice. So even though Rob's flushed it a few times, we should see quite a bit of debris coming out yeah, of it. Yeah, because this has been three years worth of stuff in there. And this was pre-owned too, so I don't know how well they did with it either. So, right. Yeah, you um, never know. Now we're going to have an engine running too, so yeah. uh, anything else we do here I'll narrate over over the sound. But So we will have an engine running and it could get loud, but we want you to see what we're doing. So anyway, here we go. Set to go, eh? Yep. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. That's not too loud, the motor. Not too bad. It's got a pretty good exhaust system on it. Yeah, I see that's going to be great. We've been doing a lot of hard bends right there. Let me see if I can get on here. We've got a hard 90 here, so we may have to re regroup. remove this and regroup that. There you go. Great. So right now the nozzle is, is moving itself forward. You can see it's already cleaning the inside of the pipe. Yeah. Uh, you can see a little bit of debris here, but when it gets up inside the black tank, you'll really see it coming down. Part of the problem is, is to get it in the tank. That's why there's so many different adapters available. Yeah. There's so many different angles. As you turn this, Hose still going a different direction and get it in there. Yeah. You see how the hose took off by itself. And it should be in the black tank 
momentarily. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Not good. Alright, see you Time Round one didn't go so good because of the fitting. So what we're gonna do is we're playing around with different settings here. I've got this one um, fitting here that we're gonna try to um, change so it'll fit the device he made and because we're having a little hard time getting the hose up into the tank so just do what we can okay round two got around the corner easier yeah i did started easier it's just remove some we remove some adapters so a lot of bins in the way Let's see what we got now Unfortunately, we removed a lot of the adapters that were clear, so you're not going to be able to see it as well, but you should, should still be able to see some debris coming through here. Yeah. Trust me, you're not missing out on much. <laughs> He's cleaned it so much, we're probably just going to get some stray, stray chunks and stuff as it comes through. But I know I'm in the black tank. It went around both sides, so all we can do now is let it run for a few minutes, and then... Uh, Group on this one, we may want to go actually inside the RV and run it down the, the toilet itself down into the black tank. Sometimes that's a little more effective. Yeah. These, are, these fifth wheels have a lot of twist and turns on the black tank cleanouts. Class A RVs are usually easier. I say usually, they have uh, the drains right on the bottom of the tank, and that's exactly right where you can come in. So the nozzle only has to go in about 15 feet of that inside the tank. But these have a lot of bends and turns on them is where we run into problems. So we don't have the best example yet because we don't have a lot of it coming out, but what's this called? Uh, they're trying to get out what? The, uh, the thing that develops in there is called struvite, and it's basically little rust chunks that come from human waste. It was running pretty brown and pretty dark before you can kind of, this is kind of an example of what it looks like. Those are rust chips, and uh, it's basically just uh, from human waste. Gotcha. So it was running pretty brown. We had to take out a lot of our adapters, so you can't really see the, uh, the what's coming out of there and the chunks of stuff. But it's probably better for some viewers anyway that they don't see what comes out. <laughs> That's right. So um, it was running pretty brown. You can see it's running pretty clear now. I put this pan underneath because this is biohazard. Um, keep in mind if you're going to try and do this yourself. You want to try and catch any leaks because yeah, it's highly regulated. If somebody comes by or the wrong person comes by and sees you dripping out black water on the ground, you're going to get in trouble. Yep. So try and catch it the best you can. Um, a lot of people will just flush it with, with low pressure, uh, high volume like Rob has been doing, which is good. A lot of RVs have a high pressure, low volume system. This is the opposite. It's actually a high pressure, I'm sorry, low pressure, high pressure, low volume. The garden hose, of course, is going to be high volume, low pressure. Yeah. So this actually is going to go in and, and agitate the tank more. And at 3,600 PSI, it's going to break a lot of the stuff loose that we couldn't get to before. Yeah. All right, so we've been uh, running uh, this for quite a while. But because we're not really seeing a whole lot of stuff come out, we're going to go from the front end down the toilet into the tank that way. So we're gonna, he's got over 50 feet of hose here. So we're now going to go into the RV and run and drop it into the tank there. So uh, this should be fun. Okay, so this is one of the few times that I really want to, don't want your neighbor to come over. But <laughs> Todd's going to bring his uh, system into the RV. And we're going to actually take that device and put it down the front end of the toilet. And work the black tank from there. So we're ready. All right. So yeah, this, we're just going to try and break it up inside a little bit more. Um, I like to do this just as an added step to make sure we're getting into the black tank and nearer and closer to the sensors. Because like I said before, some of these fifth wheels have a lot of plumbing where the nozzle will go up into the black tank. I've got 50 feet of flexible hose here, but sometimes it won't uh, go up far enough or get closer, close enough to the sensors, so we have to come in fr from the toilet itself, and that makes a big difference. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If you wonder why I'm using a funny angles, the sun's in our eyes here, right. so it probably would yeah, look funny. So, anyway, he's getting ready to attack my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're in the bathroom, of course. Before you start this, because it's very high pressure, uh, we're going to go ahead and put it down in the toilet itself. Get it down in there. 
this is a uh, nylon braided hose so it's tough enough I've got it like I said I got about 50 feet total of hose and I'm getting about 30 feet down in the toilet so the good thing about that is that that nozzle will flop around in there and break down more gotcha so now we're about in where we need to go so we'll go ahead and start the water flow okay that's, that's definitely flopping. That's a good sign. <laughs> I don't know if your viewers could hear that, but it's flopping around in that tank. That tank sounds pretty hollow, which is a good thing. So it's flopping around in there, and then what it's going to have, what it's going to do, is that nozzle is going to go to the the corner. We'll pull it back. It'll sh shoot to another corner. We'll do that on all four corners to get all the debris out of there. Sweet. I'm really glad we're getting this done. So it may not be a fun job, but it's part of RV life. So right. We're doing it. So we've been washing uh, the inside of the tank from the inside of the RV and we're actually getting pretty clear water now if you can see in there and we're going to move the hose around just a little bit more and see if we can get a little bit more of that flaking out of there and we're also hoping that the sensor will clean up a little bit better but right now we're looking really good and we're actually we're really impressed we actually our tank wasn't that bad uh, but Todd has told us that he's had some really crazy things happen but so he just turned it on and it's going to move around in the tank again see if we get any more stuff out of there just to give you a brief briefing of what we've done here uh, all my tanks come out this uh boom here so the only problem we got is we were going to try to send it up into the gray tanks and we can't get it to go into the gray tanks because of the it's, it's got to be three fittings in there somehow that we can't get up it but that's really wasn't our concern. We're just more concerned about the black tank. So right now we just decided to go up the back end again just one more time. Everything's looking really good. We're just letting it run. And uh, it didn't solve my valve problem, but uh, uh, it's definitely a good idea just to try to get some water working in there. It might loosen that up. So anyway, we didn't use too much water. No. And everything's, uh, the tank was actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, the tank's in good shape, and as Rob was saying, the connector here usually, it does not, this model has this boom here that swivels out. It's, the connector's usually right here. So about two feet in is the gray tank, where it 45's off to the right. So with this here, it's hard to angle the nozzle around this. It's hard to angle the nozzle to go to the gray tank. Yep. Uh, but we did get about 40 feet or 50 feet into that black tank that was flopping around in there and we got some real good progress going into the toilet side so um, yeah we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up put it back together and uh, Rob's going to fill it up and add some maybe some enzymes yep. and then flush it one more time and I think we're in good shape Sounds good. Thanks, so, for watching. Yep, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe we'll talk to you later bye now thank you for watching our videos Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.